Greetings and peace. Today we're going to talk about shuffling with tarot and basically how it's done. I did talk about this before, but I don't think we can talk about it enough. So I'm going to just demonstrate to you how I actually shuffle tarot cards here. Okay, one way is this way. You're literally holding your hand open. The deck's sitting there like this. Let me get you some light. Holding the cards. And I have small hands. I'm actually petite. Okay, so I put my hand on top because I have small hands. And some of these decks, I can barely fit my fingers around. Okay, so I'm using these fingers. And then I'm just doing this. And I use the other cards. This is an easy way to do tarot shuffling. Then the other way that you've all seen is when you take two sides of the deck, you split it, you shuffle. You do this, you turn the deck to the side, like towards each other without dropping the mic. <laughs> okay, and then you're not gonna be able to see this part, but I'm gonna try. I'm doing that, I'm dropping the cards down. You'll see me do it in some of the other videos. But for right now, I'm just gonna show you, I do this, split the deck. Both sides are facing us. And then I drop the cards and they fall into one pile. After doing thousands of readings, hundreds of readings, you'll have your own way to shuffle your cards. Now me, I like to do three times. Sometimes I'll do two. Sometimes I'll do six. Sometimes I'll do 10. Sometimes I'll split the deck and shuffle several times if I feel like I need to. And I feel like this gives a really good connection to the card sometimes. Sometimes you don't need to do that though. So yeah, how do you like to shuffle your cards? There are other ways that I do shuffle and you're going to see that. So for now, happy Father's Day. If you're getting this today, it is happened to be, and it happens to be Father's Day. And it is another wonderful day. But yeah, that's how you shuffle tarot. Shuffling tarot connects you to the cards. It connects you to the reading, to the person. And uh, sometimes there are people who like to let other people shuffle their cards for them. I don't do that. But after I shuffle, then I'll spread the cards out and then let a person choose a card. Sometimes I've done that before. So there's many ways that you can do this shuffling and pulling cards. All right. I'll talk to you all later. Queen Sarita. Thank you. I hope you're enjoying the online course.